Hello everyone, this is Christian Mel at Exiton Interactive, and by the time that we're done with this video, we will have a uh, quick start guide for setting up an ASP.NET Core uh, web application, and specifically uh, having the building of any TypeScript or uh, SCSS or SAS files being performed with uh, Webpack, and we'll have hot module replacements uh, working in it, such that if we take a look here, we have the now it works a lot of exclamation points at the end let's go ahead and delete those go back so we look in the browser again just one um, so everything's working the way we expect it to work and so this video is to go along with the previous ones that I made for webpack and uh, SAS or SCSS for quick start so that uh, you know I can start, or I've been working on some projects that I want to start uploading videos and I do not want to deal with making videos related with starting the projects for everything. So now we'll have the ability for me just to point to these, say go check them out and we can actually do something uh, more interesting. Let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing that we're going to do here is to, well, so inside my solution here, I have a blank solution, and I have the uh, project already that I use to test everything out. So what I'm going to do is create a new solution. So I'm going to right click on the uh, blank and choose Add New Project. I'm going to create a new project, and it's going to be an ASP.NET Core web application. You can name it whatever you want. Of course, we're going to do call it Web UI. Use OK. The time that we're doing this video, it's just going to be an ASP.NET Core 2 web application, no authentication. We'll choose OK. Give that a second here. So once the project is uh, created, what I'm going to do here is uh, go on and set up uh, Webpack or you know the project to use Webpack. Um, you'll be able to check out uh, you know a quick start video for that. Um, you know, want to check that video out, get everything set up, and then come back here and we'll continue. All right, so now that we're back uh, from getting Webpack up and running, first thing I'm going to do is uh, right click on the uh, project we just created on the web UI, choose edit the CS project file, and I'm just going to make a property group, or add a property group in here just to stop. Visual Studio from compiling the TypeScript when the project is built. So we'll save that. And of course, this step is only required if you're using Visual Studio. So included in this project when we created was a whole bunch of files already. So in the www root folder, there is a CSS uh, folder which contains a site and a site.min CSS. So I'm just going to go ahead and delete both of those. I'm going to delete all of the images that are contained within the images folder. I'm going to go ahead and create or delete the uh, this main was here because I was a, attempting a build real quick. But there'll be a site.js and then inside the lib folder I'm going to go ahead and delete all of the contents there. And of course I know it's very hard to see things that are going on with the uh, actual user interface itself uh, for in the videos. So, of course, everything is also laid out in the article associated with this video. So now with those deleted, we'll go ahead and go to the pages, go to the layout page. Layout has a whole bunch of stuff, Navigator using Bootstrap, blah, blah, blah. So I'm going to do is go to the article I was just talking about, select all, paste it. So all I've done here is create a minimal page here that's just going to load in the bundles for the CSS and the JavaScript. Save that. Same deal with the index page. It has a whole bunch of things like carousel and such. I'm going to go ahead and make it as minimal as possible. So just have, I guess I should show it. Just going to have the, you know, the H1 for the index, title, all that stuff. All right, so now what when we build the project, what Webpack is going to expect is uh, a couple of files contained within a folder called source. So we're going to add that folder here. So adding the source folder to the root of the project. Now we're ready to add 
new item text like this main.site.ts and some real down and dirty appending of cute little hello world there close that and create another one add new item main.site.scss copy just to make sure that the CSS bundle is created correctly. Here I am just flying along, just changing the font size for the body. All right, now we'll just cross our fingers, go back to the console here, and hopefully we do npm run build. And bundles are done correctly. Return back to our or to Visual Studio, I'll say debug, start without debugging. Let's go ahead and bring it over here. Great. So we can tell that the, uh, you know, everything's created correctly. We have the HMR connected. So the question is, I think at this point if we go what we want to do is to test it to see if that's working. Let's just go in and main dot, we'll add a bunch of exclamation points, save it, go back to the browser, and uh, well, you know, connected. Huh. Jump in the gun, jump in the gun. Get rid of those exclamation points. <laughs> Uh, not even not even connected at all. So what we need to do is to go to the dependencies for web UI. We're going to manage the NuGet packages. Uh, just curious. Update. Uh, we have 2.0.6 of the ASP.NET Core all. There's a 0 0.8. Let's just go ahead and accept it while we're here. Let's go to the browse. What we want to browse is the spa services package. And there it is, version 2.0.4 right now. Let's download that. Perfect. I'm going to close the main.site for the moment. What we need to do is to open up the startup.cs file. We'll see down here we have this configure method. What we need to do is at the bottom of that, so in, well, not the bottom, but inside of the is in development branch, we're going to add a call to the use webpack dev middleware, pass in some options, mainly the hot module replacement being true. Of course, when I included that, we included the namespace up here, Microsoft ASP Net Core Spa Services Webpack namespace. Go ahead and save that. While we are in a configuring mood, I'm going to skip one of the errors that we had in the article. It's just really self-explanatory. It tells us that we need actually to have in a couple of packages, Webpack Hot Middleware and ASP.NET Webpack uh, from NPM. Let's go ahead and press enter there. All right. Back to Visual Studio, just because I changed the, uh, it would do it anyway for me, but since I changed startup, I'm hit build. Let's go back to our testing here and hit refresh. All right, seems like everything's working again. So let's go in now. We'll go into the main.site.ts file. Get that I did it before, add a whole bunch of exclamation points again. Now, hopefully, when we go back, we see nothing. And of course, just after finishing that, solution found because I'm an idiot. So, when we created the web UI project, I forgot to set it as the um, uh, default project here so you know all of the myriad here oh, set up a startup project let's try this again build or debug start without debugging once again pull us over here finally okay so now we're back to where we were before so let's see 
Never know. Maybe it's still not working. Save that. Go back. Uh, finally. So this thing's telling us that uh, the update that we just tried to make was not accepted. And that's because hot module replacement is opt-in and we did not opt-in. Let's go back here and we'll do a couple things real quick. Separate it up a little bit. Uh, what we need is what we'll do is take this first bit here. So let me go ahead and comment out this stuff. So really what we want to do is to say that module.hot.accept. We need to accept the hot module replacement. So now we'll go back to the browser. I'm going to refresh. Okay, so we have a whole bunch of uh, exclamation points there. So now let's put a bunch of question marks Go back and we see without refreshing, we've got, well, first off, we've got it. Here's our question marks. So what's happening here, just, you know, all I'm doing is sillyly appending things. And just to make it operate the way we would expect replacement to work, we're going to go ahead and change the appending and such that's going on. I'm going to change this. Okay, now we'll go back in. I'm going to just refresh everything. So now it works. Let's go back, change it, give us our exclamation points, save that. We'll take a look at the browser without hitting refresh. Now we have the behavior we're looking for. Of course, usually we don't have to do this whole rigmarole uh, dealing with the uh, redoing of the, uh, you know, eliminating of the previous and adding the new. Usually that. Uh, a lot of it using let Angular take care of all of that kind of stuff, but and the Webpack uh, middleware. All right, but I think that'll take care of it. And uh, and uh, with this video done and the previous quick starts, we can go ahead and do some something a lot more interesting than this. Thank you for taking the time to watch our video. I know that your time is valuable. If you liked the video, please subscribe to our channel and click the thumbs up button as well as share the video with your friends. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, please leave them in the comments section below. And once again, thank you and I will talk to you in the next video.